Today I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 4 episode 20. We're getting so close to the end of the season. I'm very curious to see how it's all gonna come together. Episode 19, Oz was back in town briefly. He had found this cure that prevented him from turning into a werewolf under a full moon, but as we saw there was obviously other effects to it. Willow finally admitted to Buffy that she's in a relationship with Tara. Riley left the initiative for good and we ended the episode with Riley and Buffy finally talking about Angel and hanging out in the burnt out high school of Sunnydale High. So I'm very curious to see what this episode will be about. Adam's still out there. Obviously the initiative is still out there. Spike and Adam are working together so that Spike can get that chip removed from his brain. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Yes, she makes things interesting. No, see, you're not getting it, Mr. Bits. You're gonna be Mr. Bits. In the thick of it. You ready for that? I'm counting on it. He's going after the Slayer now too. Oh man. Do you? Then why haven't you killed this Slayer yet? He's got you there. Why? On top of that, now I've got this buggering chip up my head. Yes, your behavior modification circuitry. Angels in this episode? Ah, oh, the crossovers continue. Flames struggling to burn within an enclosed glass that a beast this powerful cannot be contained. Quite uh, the thinker, this guy. Oh my, such poetry. <sighs> wow. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Spike's like, sign me up for all of that. If it was a big, scary Frankenstein looking. You're exactly like Tony. <laughs> oh my god. These were. When I have the Slayer, how and where I want her. He does have a way with words, that's for sure, yeah. We're out of the picture. Not a blessed thing. They're gonna do it for me. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, and we know Kendra had said she, you know, grew up kind of on her own, and Buffy obviously has friends. Faith also very much a loner, so I definitely feel like her friends and family help her be a better Slayer. I feel like a new man. Would this man have a bright red nose and big floppy feet? Mm -hmm. Parachute pants. Sanders like those are my clothes. Kind of way. And you know what makes Angel happiest? I'll give you a hint. It's not creme brulee. <laughs> I'm guessing, yeah, she left that part out. Oh, uh, yeah. Sex with Buffy. There it is. Yep. yep. Didn't mention that. She went running to LA to bone up on her history. No! I'm sure it's boneless. Not the phrase I thought he was going for. If I leave here tomorrow. More uh, musical stylings by Giles? Oh my. I'm as free as a bird. What is Giles up to these days? Oh my, hello, Spike. What do you want? Ah, knew I left one. Oh, gross. I don't know why Giles wouldn't throw that out. At this point, a, a cynical person might think that you are offering just what we need when we need. Yeah, that's very suspicious timing. Three bushels of cash, and most important, a guarantee that I'm not to be in any way slain. That seems like a high bargain. Oh, okay. I think you're neglecting the past tense there, Rupert. Besides, she barely listened to you when you were in charge. Spike is just so evil and good at like playing into their insecurities. Very much like a retired librarian. And he knows what buttons to press. Spread the word, she knows where to find me. Yeah, and he's been close enough where he knows what to say and triggers and he knows that they, you know, don't have the greatest communication sometimes. That's the cutest thing ever. And then she- Oh, his little Vinny! Uh, <laughs> this is the cat they got! <laughs> they were talking about getting a cat. Kitty Finn does to go. It's a great name. No, I like this one. Drama. I could be dramatic. You cannot have more catnip. <laughs> catnip problem. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest oh, audition God. I've ever seen. Oh, God. 
I mean, she's busy with Riley, and I'm gone a lot, too. Yeah, I also thought they would be rooming together throughout the rest of, like, the series, but... Oh, kitty cat. So? You joined the circus. Xander took my clothes. <laughs> yeah, I just... Angel kind of upset me. Yep, that ending did not go well. I'll tell you what. Why don't I get out of your face? You had a long trip. Look, you don't... Aww. Besides, if they recharge them every two hours or they go dead on me. Oh, <laughs> Willie's pants are horrible, but he's trying to make jokes. Yeah, Buffy's still trying to process everything with Angel. And it would be weird to tell your new boyfriend about your old boy. Yeah. I saw me snuck into the initiative. I'm not a clothing delivery service. Well, he is kind of. He did Riley yesterday. Hello. Not gonna join? Joining the army? Okay, one. Ow. <laughs> Who'd you hear this from? Oh, your girly mates were talking. Some about uh, being all you can be. Or all you can be. Again, he's just trying to like tear them apart and play into, you know, Xander's insecurities. I have skills and stratagems. I'm very... Help me out. Who are you trying to, you know, prove this to? Have these cleaned after the last time, did you? This is so like them lately. It's all about them and the college life. Yeah, he's just like stirring the pot, get them to turn on each other, that's it, and then walk away. It's nothing but a huge joke to them. Xander got fired from Starbucks. Xander got fired from that phone sex line. Oh my. Touch me and you'll find out what Slayer strength is like. I think it's about time you showed me then. Yes. Oh, cue Adam. He's like, yes, come into my cave. Oh, frick. Get out of here! Stop fighting each other, both of you fight Adam. Oh, like that metal sound, ooh. Not moving. Ooh, zapped him. Thank you. I just recharged him, is that what it did? Music so frantic. I think I lost the buggers. Any luck with the dip? He's like, and scene, go. Straight to the slayer, you know. I cut you in, let you pretend you're actually in charge. Now you've got to wait. He's just. Oh my god, don't listen to him, Giles. Some crack a government encryption code on my laptop. Easy is really difficult buy. <laughs> I'm everybody's favorite buy. The whole wicker thing. They, they were talking about that? Can we get back to business? Why would they tell Spike that? Like, who does she think is gossiping about her to Spike? Ah, man. Trendy. Trendy? I don't know what they were going on about. Person wants to be a witch, that's their business. Why would they ever confide in Spike? Like, come on, Willow, see through this. Business, ladies. Don't want to get sidetracked. Still got your monsters to fight. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, that must be so hard for Riley to listen to. He's gonna go. Of course he's gonna go. Oh, man. And look who it is. Hello, Angel. Why do they keep doing this? He literally just told Buffy to go. I'm glad that's not gonna be their last on-screen interaction, but like... He just told them to leave. Did he just want to meet R Buffy's new boyfriend? We have a friend in common. Ah ha ha! So you know, girlfriend. Oh, you really think I'm gonna let that happen? Think you're gonna stop me? I surely do. Don't call me Shirley. Oh, give him the chops. Oh. I hate to break it to you, Riley, but uh, Angel will probably win this one. I don't think Buffy ever thought these two would meet. Ooh! So many chops. Ooh! Angel. Hello again. He's like, we just did this. You hurt. You too. I'll live. I'm glad they're not ending on that fight they had. Let me guess. You thought of something else really hurtful to say, and now you couldn't tell me on the- She's like, you literally just told me to go. I told you, you weren't coming near her. This is taking a dark turn. I need to talk to Angel for a minute. What? 
Riley, please. I don't think that's how you thought this was gonna go. He's kicking him out. She's like, okay, then we'll leave if you're not going to. Bye. Angel, don't rub it in, man. Come on. Ugh. Start pounding on my boyfriend? I would really like to know what the hell are you trying to do? Yeah, great question. Definitely not. Making it so much worse. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, he obviously didn't like the way that they ended things. And he's like, I'll go see her and that'll help. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't leave it like that. Thank God. I was like, that can't be the last time they talk. You weren't entirely wrong what you said in LA. Oh. I apologize by phone. Uh, things are pretty tense around here. That's an understatement. I think the best thing you can do right now is... Okay. Well, it was nice of him to offer, but yeah, it's only going to complicate things. Aww. Riley? Yeah? I don't like him. <laughs> Imagine that. You don't say. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> Yeah, that was good of him to show up and apologize because that would have been a horrible way to leave things. His whole brain just opens like that and he just like connects it to a computer. Oh my gosh. You've never heard of the Beatles. I have. I like Helter Skelter. <laughs> How bad are you hurt? Don't know yet. It's still young. Yeah, he's like, based on this conversation, I guess we'll see. All I ask is, if you're gonna break my heart, do it fast. Oh, I don't think they're breaking up. What? No, I can see why he would think that. Of course not. How can you even ask me that? Yeah, he thinks she cheated on him? I don't know, Xander said- Xander? Oh, he's the deadest man in Deadonia. <laughs> Population one. Not bad. Seriously? That it's a good day? Yeah, that's usually him. The much worse version is you don't want to know. Because I'm so in love with you, I can't think straight. Oh. Tell me about it. <laughs> Boris is dead. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. His buddy. No. Oh, man, this took a turn. It's still encrypted. Yeah, it's gonna be garbage. It's not gonna be anything useful. In months would not be accused of crazy talk. Whatever happened to Latin? At least when that made no. Giles is just getting drunk. You're not going, Xander. You'd get hurt. Ah. Just exactly what Spike wanted. Yeah, everybody's turning on each other. Put around the back cave with crusty old Alfred here. Uh. <laughs> Alfred said, oh, you forget, Alfred had a job. Willow is... Oh. Good thing we weren't there getting in the way of that. Right, maybe we can help in other ways. You want some fighting pants, bub? I can get you some new fighting pants. <laughs> he does deliver a lot of clothes this episode. Get out of the way. The army? You didn't know I knew about that, did you? You two talking about me behind my back. That didn't happen. Us talking about you? Are they going to figure it out? Please figure it out. Maybe that all changes when I'm doing sit-ups over at Fort Dix. Pardon me? Fort Dix? <laughs> Drunk trials. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all finally making perfect sense, and I'm not going to miss a moment of it. <laughs> he misses the chair. This will go on for a while. It's hard to say. They're like, let's just hide in the bathroom. Let's stay out of this. Great. You know why? Because they might give me a job that couldn't be done by any well trained border call. That's it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Giles. Drunk Giles is my favorite. You're not answering me. How can you possibly help? This is not going well. This is not going well. They definitely haven't been as close as they used to. Like the first few seasons, they all went out all together all the time. And it definitely hasn't been like that in a while. I guess I'm starting to understand why there's no ancient prophecy about a chosen one and her friends. Whoa, throwing that in their face. I'll go to someone I can count on. Yikes. Oh no, no, I hate it when they fight. I've been waiting for you. And now I'm here. What? What? 
No! Oh my gosh. What? What? He walked right into that trap. Oh man. So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season four, episode 20. It was a two part episode. So I'm very curious to see what part two is going to be like, especially with that ending of, you know, Adam and Riley facing off and Riley obviously just walking into a trap. And I'm sure he knew that. And after finding out that his friend Forrest had been killed by Adam, I don't think he was, you know, fully thinking clearly. He's more set on revenge as opposed to probably his own safety so I'm very worried to see what that's gonna look like. Another crossover episode with Angel coming to see Buffy this time and I was thinking okay you just yelled at her told her to leave you had this big fight and now you're showing up and I wasn't really sure why and then obviously we find out it's to apologize which I'm so glad as a viewer I was very worried that that was gonna be their last interaction was the two of them having this fight and you know him kicking her out of the city basically so I'm very glad that he's showed up and I could tell it meant a lot to Buffy as well that he took the time to apologize. They understand now that, you know, showing up in each other's cities randomly isn't helping anybody and, you know, if they have to move on in any capacity, then that's not going to help. He's like, next time I'll call. It's like, okay, great. Like, let's do that. Spike and Adam are obviously working together. I don't know what files are on that thing that he gave to Willow. Those encrypted files, I imagine, are just going to result in nothing. I'm not anticipating there being any actual useful information information on that and probably by the time they figure that out it'll be too late but just watching him manipulate everybody and playing to their insecurities and oh I heard this from so and so and I heard this from so just spreading gossip and rumors and lies and it's also like you think they would be a little bit more suspicious of Spike because who would be confiding in Spike at this point and the way he knows them well enough to know their insecurities like when he says to Giles oh like she wouldn't tell you anyway and he knows that they've had communication issues so he's just playing into that and putting those doubts in Giles's head and drunk Giles was hilarious just him you know being like I don't know what I'm doing with my life and he's like well I am just a retired librarian now basically and just seeing Spike play into all of those things and using the, what he knows about the group against them and as horrible as it is it obviously worked as we saw the gang you know was having a fight at the end and Buffy storms off and it's like fine I'll just go on my own anyway and we've seen her in previous episodes as well where she's trying to be like no I'll go by myself and everybody trying to help and sometimes they end up you know getting in the way and sometimes they actually help so I was a bit surprised that she was still having that mentality of I'll go on my own like don't come with me and she's like oh but I still need you and we haven't really seen them all go out together you know patrolling in a long time now that she's with Riley obviously they do that but it used to be you know Xander and Buffy and Willow would all go out together and Giles but it hasn't been like that in a long time and I think this kind of just fueled that mentality of you know Xander's insecurities being like well you guys went off to college and left me behind and Willow not feeling as smart as she is and be like well I'm not great at computers or you know now I'm doing witchcraft so I'm not focusing as much time on this and just seeing Spike you know like poke the bear basically and then just step back and watch itself implode and that's exactly what he wanted to happen and he got his wish. I do believe that Buffy is a better slayer because she has such close friends and family and we saw a Kendra, you know, was very much a loner. It was just her and her watcher. It sounds like her watcher didn't let her have friends and family and Faith also very much on her own as well. So it's definitely interesting to see that kind of as her strength. And now that that's taken away, obviously she'll be a lot more vulnerable and won't have those resources, won't have that backup. It'll just be her. And especially since Adam just killed Forrest, we know he has no problem killing people. We've seen what he's done to demons and other creatures as well. So I'm very worried if Buffy goes in like, you know, headstrong and upset and just thinking, you know, forget everybody else. It might not end well. And especially with us getting to the end of the season, I'm very worried. The initiative is hunting Riley and he's going after Adam as well. So I'm very curious to see what the initiative would think if he takes Adam out, if they would, you know, let him back in, if Riley even wants to go back. We saw Tara and Willow get a cat that they were talking about, which was super cute, and I'm excited for them. And we also saw Willow finally call Tara her girlfriend, and Xander knows, and Giles knows now. So I'm glad Willow feels more comfortable now and can share that information. And even if she said it, you know, in the middle of the fight, she still told them. I feel like some true feelings came out in this episode. Spike may have instigated it, but I feel 
feel like there was a grain of truth to what he said. Maybe not, you know, well being bad at computers, but I think that kind of sparked how she was feeling about other things. And this just brought it all up to the surface. And they haven't had a big fight in a long time. And they haven't really had that many scenes together. Like they used to have all of these talks and hang out. And we've seen that maybe once every like four or five episodes, they'll go for a walk or something like that. And to hear Willow say like, we don't even feel like roommates anymore. In my mind as well, I thought that they would be rooming together, you know, for their next year of university, but maybe Willow will move in with Tara. Maybe Buffy and Riley will get a place. Who knows? But yeah, it's very interesting to see them kind of grow apart. I hope they can work and get back together and realize that their friendship, you know, is more important and they can work through these things and, you know, try and find a compromise. And I hope they realize that Spike was the one going around, you know, starting all these rumors and saying these things and they shouldn't trust him in the first place. And the fact that he shows up offering to help should be very suspicious. So yeah, I'm curious to see what'll happen if he'll get any money that he wants, if they'll realize that he's just lying to them. I was surprised to find out that Riley thought Buffy would cheat on him. They've been together for a while now and they've had their ups and downs and they've worked through it. And the fact that he thought she would just instantly sleep with her ex. Buffy was questioning, why would you think I'm that person? Like, have I done anything to make you think you can't trust me? So I feel like Riley just kind of got this image in his head and just started seeing red and, you know, got jealous. And even Angel's like, I don't like Riley. And I didn't imagine they would get along. But the fact that they finally met, I didn't think that would ever happen. And Riley thinking that Angel, you know, had gone bad because he was fighting those guys. And Buffy's like, oh no, that's like his normal routine, basically. And Riley instantly thinking that he was bad because they had slept together. Overall, I thought it was a good episode. It was great to see Angel back again and apologize. Like I said, I was very worried that that last interaction would be the last we'd ever see. Or Buffy would stay away for good and they would just stop talking altogether. So I feel like their characters will cross paths again. I'm glad Angel... Angel came back and apologized. I know that meant a lot to Buffy. I'm very worried for what's going to happen to Riley. Him just showing up, you know, to see Adam like that and obviously grieving the loss of his friend and Buffy going out on her own as well and, you know, staying away from her friends and having the feud in the Scooby gang. I hate it when they fight, so I'm hoping they can work it out. I'm not sure how they're going to take down Adam, what that's going to look like, but I feel like that's going to be our season finale and especially with this being a two-part episode, I'm curious if the next episode would continue on as we're getting so close to the end of the season. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Mr. Bits, His parachute pants. Yeah, he's just like stirring the pot, get them to turn on each other, that's it, and then walk away. His whole brain just opens like that and he just like connects it to a computer. He does deliver a lot of clothes this episode. They're like, let's just hide in the bathroom, let's stay out of this. He walked right into that trap. Oh man.